Hey guys, it's me. It's Saturday, January 26th. Hey, Saturday. And I'm in the car with Ken Inoue. Mm -hmm. Ken is uh, one of my biggest fans. And uh, whenever I have big uh, equipment, guitars, amps, and whenever I need help, he always helps me. So to honor him, I'm going to treat him with Korean barbecue, yakiniku. Here's what we ordered. We ordered this set along with some sprout number two and hachinosu, which is beef stump. So here I am at Yaki Kamemon, and we just made our order, and I'm waiting for my dishes. Check this out guys. One of the things about the differences between China, Korea, and Japan is in Japan we use wooden or wooden material for chopsticks. In China they use marbles and different things. But in Korea they always use these stainless or steel chopsticks. One of the customary differences even within this Asian community. <laughs> this is a uh, prepared beef stomach. I ain't gonna eat it, but Ken over here is. Ken just wants to eat it. So, Tanto Ore. Here's Ken preparing the Hachinosu. Hachinosu literally, literally means. Beehives. The reason they, they call it the beehives is the lining. This is exactly right here. The lining of the stomach looks like a beehive. And I am going to try the bean sprout namuru, which is marinated in sesame oil and Here comes the namuru. Mm. It's marinated in sesame oil and it's got some bits and pieces of uh, garlic and I shouldn't talk and eat. I shouldn't eat and talk, but it's excellent. Our main dish has arrived. The variations of the Japanese wagyu. Yakiniku materials. In the meantime, Hachinosu is still being prepared by Ken Yokoyama. Janaya. Ken, you know. Let's see. I've never had Hachinosu in my life. I don't like either. Let's see how long um, he dipped it into this soy sauce. So. Delicious? Yes? Mike. Okay, good. Mm. Hachinosu is an acquired delicacy. Let's check out some of the condiments over here. Oh, this is definitely the hot sauce. And this is karai too. I wonder what this is. This is soy sauce? I guess so. Seven flavor kogarashi. Check out this hot sauce. Whoops. It's got loads and loads of uh, rolls and I believe they're garlics. Can't wait to try them out. That's my hachinosu. Let's see what happens. 
So I'm going to try for one piece of a hachinose myself. Silverware. Chopsticks and here goes nothing. Chewy. Mm, tastes great. It's got a almost like a flight smoky tastes like squid for some odd reason. Of course it's marinated. I mean great barbecue sauce and everything. Delicious. Fuishi. In Chinese it's hot I don't know how to say it in Korean, but um yeah, I like it. Mm. the bar. And shall we start barbecuing the main course? Why not? This is the way to do it. Not at all at once. But a couple of pieces. Because it takes time for it takes time for the meat to be prepared and cook right in the right temperature. And you cook it everything at once, then some will meet, some will get burned and it ain't right. It takes care and delicacy. It's kinda of like, you know, the way of yakiniku, way of barbecue. That's the way we treat everything over here. I'm glad he's enjoying it. This is all you know, thanks to him with the hard works and carrying and almost being like a equipment manager sometimes, so at least uh, what I could do. That's my meat. Dipped in hot sauce. That's the way I like it. <laughs> there it goes. Dip it in my hot sauce then. So good. And here's the different. The next segment is how to be. Let's watch uh, Chef Ken how to uh, prepare yakiniku the proper way. I wasn't exaggerating while I wasn't joking. Ken actually was a chef. That was his first job. ちゃんと料理にしたら何を作ってたの基本の中華が一番最初でその後中華から洋食も少しやって和食以外はやってました portion of kalbi which chef can cook for me. One thing I forgot to say was itadakimasu. It's a bit late but there's my kalbi and a regular soy sauce this time. extract and fat from the beef. 
just juices up. Mm. Just so amazing. Such a treat. Like I said, I do yak and you can only once a year. Take the right timing. It's so good. <laughs> Here it comes, hormone. Now there are various stories on why these plates are called hormone. Hormone means hormones. And of course it has nothing to do with our glands. Hormone in Japanese is hormone, which means something that you throw it away. And hormones are mainly intestines and inner organs. It used to be thrown away, but later on became a delicacy. People started preferring all these uh, different glands and organs and tasted it and and the uniqueness of it. And it's a delicacy here in Japan. This is Hachinosu, right? Hachinosu. Hachinosu. The beef on the stomach. It's liver. The liver, which he prepared for me. One of my favorite is the liver, whether it's beef, pork, or chicken. Dip it into my hot sauce, and here it goes. I'm so completely full. So there you have it. We just finished our meal at Yakiniku uh, Maimon and um, Thank you. And my vlog of Yakiniku Maimon at Musashi Kogane. Signing off and see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.